Now, where do you want me? On the piano stool. I remember sitting in the organ loft in Gloucester Cathedral before I became a chorister and listening to this gorgeous uh, cathedral choir singing Gibbons and Bird and, and the sound rever reverberating around this enormous, huge building. I remember the sunlight streaming through the stained glass windows and yeah, that's, I mean, that was when I was six, so, so it's, really, it's really stuck with me. When I started as a chorister, it, it was just great fun and I loved, I loved the idea of, even then, of the dramatic shape of a piece of music, even church music, about how you know, the architecture of a piece is put together for its, in that context, for the, you know, the greater glory of God, but more generally for, for, um, for the biggest dramatic impact, I suppose you would say. And, and even as a kid, I used to obsess about that. And, and that was, that's one of the main reasons I went into conducting and into becoming a musician, because I felt, I felt that was something which fascinated me. And, and still it does, and still it's really a central part of how I think about music, is, is how, how to make the shape overall of a great piece of music work. Trust takes a while to come, and that's why guest conducting can be fun, but the, the real inspiration of a relationship between a conductor and an orchestra or an opera company is when you get to work with them day in day out and you've lived through a lot of performances together because then you really end up trusting each other. The Bergen Philharmonic have a, have a, have a unique energy and I, I felt it the first time I came in 2009. What struck me then and it, it keeps it keeps really in the forefront of my mind is, is the way that this the, there's a wonderful old-fashioned even quality to the string playing but it's coupled with a, uh, a chamber musician's attitude that there's a vibrancy about the way the whole orchestra delivers its music that it's really wonderful and, and I feel there's no boundary for our work together we really we really know how each other operates and I can push as hard as I like and it really and we're, we're always rewarded by by the work that we end up doing together People who work at the airport or taxi drivers, they talk to me about what this orchestra does and you can't get that in bigger cities. And that's a real privilege that you feel that you're part of the cultural structure of a city. I think the Beggar Philharmonic is unique and I think the more, the more that people hear the orchestra, the more they really understand that. And it's, it's, it's there's something about the sound which is, which is remarkable and it feels so cultured but so live at the same time and that's coupled with a spirit that I haven't really experienced anywhere else and it's a spirit of comradeship and of being in it together to find the best we can all possibly be and that I mean that spurs me on and you know in return hopefully I spur them on as well and uh, it just feels like the perfect environment for making music.